Today we're going to fully explore SCP-294, the coffee machine. He requested for a cup of joe from 294. Moments after confirming the selection, Agent Joseph began to sweat profusely and complained of dizziness before collapsing. Hello everybody, I'm the rubber. Today we bring you a SCP Foundation Euclid class object, SCP-294. SCP-294, also known as a standard coffee vending machine, is a coffee vending machine that can produce any beverage through keyboard input. Its entry keyboard is corresponding to an English QWERTY keyboard. Upon depositing 50 cents US currency into the coin slot, the user is prompted to enter the name of any liquid using the keyboard. After doing so, a standard 12 ounce paper drinking cup is placed and the liquid indicated is poured into the cup. The foundation has conducted 97 tests, including requests for water, coffee, beer, and soda, non-consumable liquids such as sulfuric acid, wiper fluid, and motor oil, as well as substances that do not usually exist in liquid state, such as nitrogen, iron, and glass, and each one returned a success. It is also interesting to note that many caustic liquids that would have corroded a normal paper cup seem to have no effect on the cups dispensed by the machine. However, test runs with solid materials such as diamond have failed. This shows that SCP-294 can only deliver substances that can exist in liquid state. It is of note that after approximately 50 uses, the machine would not respond to further requests. After a period of approximately 90 minutes, the machine seemed to have restocked itself. 294 was originally placed in the Foundation's personnel break room because it is almost harmless to human beings and it's also a money-saving venture. However, after the 29401 accident, two guards of security clearance level 3 were arranged to guard 294 at all times. Since then, anyone who wants to get contact with it needs to obtain security permission first. So, what happened during the 29401 incident? The incident happened on August 21st, 2005. Agent mm. Joseph attempted to use 294 to obtain coffee during his allotted break time at 9.30 a.m. At the request of another agent to see what it would do, Agent Joseph requested for a cup of joe from 294. Moments after confirming the selection, Agent oh. Joseph began to sweat profusely like and complained of dizziness before oh, collapsing. What? After moving the unconscious agent to the infirmary, the medical team recovered the contents of the cup dispensed by SCP-294. They found a combination of blood, tissue, and other bodily fluids in the liquid. Oh my gosh, Testing revealed the DNA everything. sequence of the biological material dispensed by SCP-294 matched that of Agent Joseph. Luckily, Agent Joseph made a complete recovery after That's four weeks of rest and intravenous hydration. X-rays and CAT scans showed no further signs of injury, and he was released. After reviewing documentation on 294, the Foundation started testing 294's ability to retrieve specific liquids from a distance. To test the range of 294's capacity for retrieval, researchers formulated a unique compound composed of undisclosed ratios of bleach, cola, MET-RX powder, and garum masala. The fluid was created and placed in a sealed container 25 meters away from 294. When the request for this liquid was made, an equal amount of the liquid that had existed in the sealed container had disappeared without any reason. In another test, it has now been confirmed that 294 has the ability to directly gather information from someone's mind in order to comply with the given conditions. Under observation of level 4 personnel, an agent keyed in a request of the best drink I've ever had. 294 delivered a dark fluid topped with white foam which was later identified as Vienna Lager. The cup was printed with a color picture of five men and two women drinking beer on the beach and the agent who requested for this drink was one of them. In his briefing, he confirmed that his favorite that drink cool. ever was a Vienna Lager he consumed at the beach with his friends. According to another test, 294 was proved to be able to produce abstract concepts or sentences, and it also can make the subjects feel the experience. Researcher keyed in request for a cup of music. SCP-294 produced a clear, sparkling fluid that tasted vaguely alcoholic. Following ingestion, subject reported feeling and not hearing a continuous rhythm and demonstrated the ability to move and even dance with a certain fluidity that he had not previously shown. That is pretty In cool. one of the I'll other tests, like, a professor cool. requested My Life Story from 294. 
294 began to shake violently, like a tornado, and made humming noises violently for approximately three minutes, before providing a highly viscous, opaque black liquid. Upon consumption, the professor reported that he remembered everything that had ever happened to him. Following this test, the Go professor shot. entered his office and returned 48 hours later with a 538-page autobiography. According to an addendum, a D-class personnel with IQ of 99 and low curiosity scores was given written instructions about what to request. The mm -hmm. D-class personnel produced a request for blood of Canis lupus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as wolf blood. The D-class personnel next produced a request for saliva of Equus ferus cabalis and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as horse saliva. Oh the D-class personnel that? next produced a request for urine of Phascolarctus cinereus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as koala urine. The D-class personnel next produced a request for cerebrospinal fluid of Phoberomus pattersoni and received a cup of liquid currently undergoing Dinosaur analysis. DNA. It is to be noted that Phoberomus pattersoni went extinct during the late Miocene epoch, oh, approximately 8 million years ago. Other SCP-294 tests are currently awaiting for approval. That was a banger from the rubber. Why the fuck would you ask for, oh, a cup of saliva, dude? You could ask for anything. What if you get like, oh, a cup of Leonardo da Vinci's thoughts? How fucking cool wouldn't that be? And no, I want horse saliva. Dude, get the fuck out, bro. What, the, what is wrong with you? But other than that, fucking splendid video though. Now we are gonna need some more substance to really understand the SCP fully and all its functions. So let's head over to the Vogue and see what he has to say. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-294. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. There are no special standard containment procedures on file for item SCP-294. However, only personnel of security clearance level 2 or higher are allowed to interact with it. See document SCP-294-A. SCP-294 is currently being stored in the second floor personnel break room and is monitored by two guards of security clearance level 3 at all times. Description Item SCP-294 appears to be a standard coffee vending machine, the only noticeable difference being an entry touchpad with buttons corresponding to an English QWERTY keyboard. Upon depositing 50 cents US currency into the coin slot, the user is prompted to enter the name of any liquid using the touchpad. Upon doing so, a standard 12-ounce paper drinking cup is placed and the liquid indicated is poured. 97 initial test runs were performed, including requests for water, coffee, beer, and soda. Non-consumable liquids such as sulfuric acid, wiper fluid, and motor oil as well as substances that do not usually exist in liquid state, such as nitrogen, iron, and glass, and each one returned to success. Test runs with solid materials such as diamond have failed, however, as it appears that SCP-294 can only deliver substances that can exist in a liquid state. It is of note that after approximately 50 uses, the machine would not respond to further requests. After a period of approximately 90 minutes, the machine seemed to have restocked itself. It is also interesting to note that many caustic liquids that would have eaten through a normal paper cup seem to have no effect on the cups dispensed by the machine. Testing is so ongoing. As suggested, SCP-294 was moved to the second floor personnel break room as a money-saving venture. Following Incident 29401, guards were stationed at the item and a security clearance became necessary to interact with it. Document SCP-294-A regarding Incident 2941. On August 21st, 2005, Agent Joseph attempted to use item SCP-294 to obtain coffee during his allocated break time at 9.30 a.m. At the request of Agent to see what it would do. Requested a cup of joe from the item. Moments after confirming the selection, okay. Agent Joseph 
began to sweat profusely and complained of dizziness before collapsing. After moving the unconscious agent to the infirmary, the medical team recovered the contents of the cup dispensed by item SCP-294, a combination of blood, tissue, and other bodily fluids. Testing revealed the DNA sequence of the biological material dispensed by SCP-294 matched that of agent. Agent made a complete recovery after four weeks of rest and intravenous hydration. X-rays and CAT scans showed no further signs of injury, and was released. Both agents were reprimanded. Additional security measures for SCP-294 have been recommended. Addendum SCP-294-F After reviewing documentation on SCP-294, suggested testing SCP-294's ability to retrieve specific liquids from a distance. Addendum SCP-294-H With the overseeing of O5, a cup of SCP-75 secretion was used as input. The product was proven to be the requested liquid, and the cup was able to successfully contain the material. Oh, However, so the report for incident O-75-7 was acknowledged two hours after the test. See Addendum SCP-75-M. A containment procedure breach had occurred exactly the same time this test was taking place, waking SCP-75 to its active stage. It was able to secrete an amount of basic solution equal to the capacity of a coffee cup before emergency containment procedure was applied and it was rendered passive. The liquid was not found in post-incident investigation. That's so cool. Addendum SCP-294-I Researcher punched in request for cup of gold. The machine dispensed a cup of molten gold. Researcher requested similar precious materials with the same result. Addendum SCP-294-J. Researcher punched in, from a safe range, request for cup of anti-water. The machine hummed briefly, then displayed out of range on entry pad. It is theorized that SCP-294 has a limited range of collection and cannot reach into alternative universes or dimensions. Oh, okay. Addendum SCP-294-K. Researcher punched in request for diamond. SCP-294 briefly hummed, then displayed out of range on entry pad. SCP-294 gives this result for all solid substances, as diamond is a solid crystalline form of carbon. It appears that the machine will not dispense liquid carbon, as this does not result in a diamond. When a cup of carbon was subsequently punched in, the machine dispensed a cup of liquid carbon. SCP-294 was immune to the damaging effects of the dispensed liquid. Addendum SCP-294-M Testing for range of SCP-294's capacity for retrieval has been initiated. A oh. unique compound has been formulated, composed of undisclosed ratios Brand bleach, oh, this is, they actually show this in the animation brand too. cola, oh, METRX powder, and garam oh, masala. The fluid was created and placed in a sealed container 25 meters away from SCP-294. When requested, the fluid was dispensed. An equal amount of the mixture was no longer present in its original container. Addendum SCP-294-01 Researcher under observation of level 4 personnel, keyed in a request of the best drink I've ever had. SCP-294 dispensed a fluid similar in appearance to cola. The researcher identified it as a mixed drink he recalls having in a bar during his bachelor party, and was convinced it was the best drink. He did not know what ingredients were in the drink besides rum and cola. Further tests are scheduled to ascertain how SCP-294 gathers information. Addendum SCP-294-01A Under the same conditions, Agent The best drink I've ever had. SCP-294 delivered a dark fluid topped with white foam, which was later identified as Vienna Lager. The cup was printed with a color picture of five men and two women drinking beer on a beach. It was one of them. In his briefing, Agent confirmed his favorite drink ever was a Vienna lager he consumed at the beach with his friends. It has now been confirmed 
That SCP-294 has the ability to directly gather information from someone's mind in order to comply with the given conditions. Which is so cool, because that means it Addendum can SCP-294 exactly Q1. Right? Subject keyed the perfect drink. The machine dispensed like a cup that. containing an odorless lavender liquid. After drinking the liquid, subject appeared to go into shock. Subject later committed suicide, leaving a note which read, I'm sorry, but at this point, everything's just one big letdown. Requesting such a drink again is highly discouraged. None of the components of the drink have yet been identified. But haven't they, like, done something that to hunt Addendum 294 like T1. Hunt oneself, right? Subject keyed in something Cassie will like. The device was heard to hum for about three seconds before dispensing an empty cup. Printed on the side of the cup was an image of a traditional soda fountain glass, filled with something brown, and topped with whipped cream. Upon introduction to SCP-85, it was identified by her as a chocolate banana milkshake and judged delicious. Addendum SCP-294-W Researcher keyed in a request for a cup of music. SCP-294 produced a clear sparkling fluid that tasted vaguely alcoholic. Following ingestion, subject reported feeling and not hearing a continuous rhythm, and demonstrated the ability to move and even dance with a certain fluidity that he had not previously shown. Testing on other abstract concepts is continuing. Addendum SCP-294-AB During a mass security breach, Agent requested a cup of pertinent medical knowledge while taking shelter inside the second floor break room. Of the four agents in the room, Agent was the only one who was not injured. SCP-294 poured a cup of clear green liquid. Following the ingestion of this substance, Agent began mending other agents' wounds in a manner consistent with Foundation medical training. Agent no longer has the medical training that the liquid provided and other attempts to recreate the effect have failed. The agent has speculated that this event was an emergency measure taken by the object to ensure self-preservation. Addendum SCP-294-AC Doctor requested my life story from SCP-294. SCP-294 made humming noises and shook violently for approximately three minutes before providing a highly viscous, opaque, black liquid. Upon consumption, Dr. reported that he remembered everything that had ever happened to him. Following this test, Dr. entered his office and returned 48 hours later with a 538-page autobiography. Addendum SCP-294-AD Researcher produced request consisting done. solely of the phrase, Surprise me. Device produced an opaque cup containing normal water, later determined to have been heated to approximately 200 degrees Celsius. Upon receiving vibration from transport, the contents of the cup turned into steam, violently spraying boiling water in a 2 meter radius. Addendum SCP-294 AF Researcher oh, produced request for of Blood of Christ. Oh my God. SCP-294 vibrated and produced the message, Hicke Anum Calix Sanguis May, then produced a paper drinking cup containing approximately 0.12 liters of red grape wine. What? Addendum oh, SCP-294 yeah, AG. Yeah, Researcher sure produced requests for Cup of Smilodon Blood, Cup of Passenger Pigeon Blood, and cup of Thomas Jefferson's blood, and received three out-of-range errors. Addendum SCP-294-AH A D-Class personnel with IQ of 99 and low curiosity scores was given written instructions about what to request. The D-Class personnel produced a request for blood of Canis lupus and received a cup of liquid yeah, subsequently identified as mess. wolf blood. The D-Class personnel next produced a request for saliva of Equus ferris caballus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as horse saliva. The D-Class personnel next produced a request for urine of Fascalarctus cinereus and received a cup of liquid 
subsequently identified as koala urine. The D-Class personnel next produced a request for cerebrospinal fluid of Fulberomis Patersoni and received a cup of liquid currently undergoing analysis. It is to be noted that Fulberomis Patersoni went extinct during the late Miocene Epoch, approximately 8 million so, years ago. Wait, why couldn't he get... Addendum SCP-294-AI. That is confusing. Dr. King produced a request for a cup of room temperature superconductor and received a cup of apple juice with seeds floating in it. Addendum SCP-294-AJ. Dr. Menchu produced request for cup of D-151839's leukemia and received a cup of fluid. The fluid was microscopically examined and found to contain leukemic blast cells, which were a genetic match to D-151839. A second request for a cup of D-151839's leukemia resulted in an out-of-range error. D-151839 was subsequently That's found cool. to be free of leukemia. However, within 15 days, oh, the right leukemia right. had recurred. Well, that sucks. Other SCP-294 experiments are currently awaiting approval. Dude, I hope they write more experiments log on this. this you is, can look dude, forward to a future lecture cool. with a lot more experiments. I know you guys love that. Yeah, right? dude. Hey, true. He's really I think that about does it for today. Thank you very much for listening. If indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Thank you both. Goodbye. Always great videos. Now there was one thing that really confused me a lot about this one. He couldn't get, what was it, Tom or Jefferson's blood, but he could get the DNA or saliva or some shit from like a creature that went extinct, extinct 8 million years ago. Or seemingly, at least he got a liquid instead of being like, oh, it's out of range, right? So I found that really weird. Maybe it means that the fucking creature is actually alive. Like, that, that could be it, right? There's so many cool things about this coffee machine, though. Like, you see, you could remove fucking cancer. You could retrieve, like, DNA from old species. And we also had an experiment where they enhanced the abilities of the person, its knowledge, or its capabilities, right? Which I find so cool. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.